Libras, it is the Sun Sage back to do another September reading for you guys. This will mostly be channeling um, mid September. So the next week and a half, next two weeks, we're going to see what energies are showing up for you guys. All right. So these are general messages. They may not resonate for everyone, but they are intended to resonate for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus arising. Sorry. All right. They are intended to resonate for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus arising. Some of you are leaving somebody or at least contemplating it. Some of you are contemplating leaving a connection or a relationship, Libra. I'm going to be channeling the strongest energies here. Um, what's the energy for Libras for mid-September? The Empress. That is you, okay? Um, Empress. What else do we have for Libra? We have the Nine of Wands. Um, Libra. We have the Will of Fortune and the Sun. Some of you could be expecting right now. We have Death. Um, Seven of Swords. What else do we have for Libra? Um, a Knight of Cups here. All right. A Knight of Cups here. And the Three of Swords, okay? So this is about a relationship, um, Hierophant. This is about something that here that's already established. Um, you could feel like, you know, it's time to let someone go, or you could feel like you're starting to get antsy in a relationship, like there's an ending approaching here with the sun. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, with the death, we have the sun that shows up before that. So I do feel like some of you could feel like there's a relationship in your life that could be coming to an end. Um, I don't feel like it's impacting you like in a, in a way where you're still not able to show up for your career or show up for your children or show up for your, your job, whatever it is that in your life that brings you happiness and for fulfillment, you guys are still able to show up as like the boss or show up um, looking amazing and feeling amazing here with the Empress. Um, some of you are settling down like you're set, like you're getting used to being single or you're you're appreciating um single life right now. Some of you are dating. Why is this empress here? The 7 of pentacles. Definitely a settled sort of vibe I'm picking up here. Like you guys are comfortable. Um I feel like um when it comes to relationships, you may have already been in separation from someone. You may have already been giving a relationship a break and you're kind of getting used to it. Even when it gets a little frustrating with that seven of pentacles here, you're still the empress, okay? You still create your own abundance, wealth, happiness, stability. So I feel like you guys, page of swords, are getting a little antsy. That's confirmed here. Um, Gemini energy showing up, but I do feel like um for the main for the most part, um, you guys could be dating or wanting to date. You're, this is curious, right? You, you, some of you will be starting like dating online or a friend will refer you to someone. You're looking at their social media page. You're like, yeah, I could go out with that person. Um, some of you are bored <laughs> in a relationship or with someone, right? There's not been a lot of excitement. So the nine of wands tells me things are going to pick up. Um, if you're going back out into the dating world or if you have a connection that you're taking a break from and you may consider like leaving this person, a lot of you are amping up your protections. Um, nine of pentacles. Yep. You guys feel very sort of single and loving it. Okay. That's what I'm getting. For those of you that are not single, if you're doing great in your connection, I do feel like you're, you're settling down into home life and couples life and making, you know, doing like settling down with this person. But I do feel like there's some sort of, um, there's some sort of, uh, something going on. The seven of swords is confirming that at the bottom of the deck. You also have a seven of swords out here. So someone is trying to, to ruin your happiness or ruin your peace that you've established for yourself. Your ex or the person that you may be about to break up with or see things differently with, this person may not want you to be single. This person may be upset that you're breaking away from them. You could be a cross watcher here in this page of swords energy, checking out for a Libra masculine person or a Libra person here, or even if it's a Libra feminine, right? Trying to see what's going on. 
this person does feel like they're not happy about having to be separated from you from you seven of cups nine of pentacles um they could see you dating someone may have even heard about you talking to someone that they you that you'll later find out that they know okay so that's an energy showing up for Libras. Um, the nine of wands is about, you know, your integrity and standing up for yourself and, and fighting for what you believe in. Right. And I feel like a lot of you have um, you, you you're you not going to accept any connection where the person doesn't respect you. Right. Doesn't respect what you offer, what you bring to the table. So you've been confused by someone for some of you who is not ready to settle down. You're like, what's there to be confused about? I'm fine, you know, sexy out here. I have a good life. You know, I could offer you a good life. What's the confusion about? Right. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like there is something going on in your connections right now where you and the other person are not on the same page. So the will of fortune is coming in to sort of like let you know things are about to get shaken up a bit in your life. Um, the star for sure. OK, some of you have been manifesting something different, something better for yourself with the sun here. And that's what's coming in. Some of you have a Leo. OK, coming in right here. Some of you have a Leo coming in. Some of you have an Aquarius. OK, that's showing up. Um, Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Some of you have a divine counterpart showing up, a divine masculine here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Star are actually really good energies. You guys are going to get some sort of relief here um, in the form of like a financial reward or something you've been manifesting here. So there is going to be some good news coming in in the next week and a half or so um, for mid-September. Also, as your birthday approaches, happy birthday to those of you who will be seeing or receiving this message um, when your birthday is, is in. I feel like you guys are um, manifesting a, another year of, of life and abundance. Uh, you feel very grateful, right? Even despite some kinks in the road, some challenges you're having to endure currently with that nine of wands, some things that are really confusing that are messing with your with your sort of um, your perspective on life you're still able to to have hope and manifest why is the star here um, manifest the life that you want death this is another card that we have out here on the board already so death showing up twice is that you are going through a major transformation times two <laughs> okay there is a major transformative energy showing up and it's almost like the universe is saying to you trust the process now because death is here twice there is an ending to something okay coming up there is an ending to something um this is wanting to let you know like i feel like a lot of you could feel the change and that's why you have that nine of wands that nine of wands is a preparation energy some of you are preparing for this change to start taking place in your life, whether this be you leaving a relationship, knowing that it's about to change your finances, knowing that it's going to change, you know, your routine and how you do things. Um, for a lot of you, there are just changes that are happening, whether in your career or, or your personal life that you're going to have to get adjusted to. I like to look at the death card at times as adjustment, right? Not just changes happening, but us adjusting to those changes, right? Knight of Swords, this is you at the bottom of the deck sort of taking all of this in and like i got this okay you're in your warrior stance you're like i got this nothing is going to stop me from you know still accomplishing my goals whatever the challenge is whatever the challenges are right so the sun energy is letting me know that there's going to be sort of like kind of a mix of good news and um um annoying news coming in but the uh the ace of swords is like something here a truth is going to be revealed the sun is a revelation like being shown on something um happening in your life and the ace of swords is more of that energy the five of cups some of you may be sad about something that's going on in your life separating with this person or having even having to think about separating from someone that you love but i feel like a lot of you are staying strong and staying powerful ace of swords here why is this ace of swords here this is like truth or honesty someone is going to reveal a truth to you queen of swords that's your energy as well um it's a this relationship here something that you've be, you've gotten used to that's become a big part of your life that's still a big part of your life you're going to start seeing some changes in that area right 
with these swords showing up and the hierophant, I'm kind of picking up legal stuff, lawyers, um, that sort of energy here, um, sort of making something official. So someone could finally be going to a courthouse to make a divorce final or going to sign the, you know, to start filing for divorce or filing for a breakup or something. I mean, not filing not filing for a breakup no um uh filing for some sort of um legal um le legal action here all right but that's not for everybody i would feel more comfortable you know with that message being for everyone or most of you if the justice had come out that's your energy as well but so far we're not there we're just looking at you looking at papers um researching online you know what happens when I do this or what happens if I were to do that, that sort of thing, right? Because something needs to end here with the death. Something needs to transform. Um, Queen of Wands, more fire energy showing up, Aries, also Leo Sagittarius. I feel like you guys could be ending something with somebody who was giving off a little bit um, like they weren't ready to settle down right? Like they weren't ready or like they were giving off vibes that they were um, connecting to someone else. You guys may be connected to a Scorpio and you found out that Scorpio was was dealing with a Aries or a fire sign. And so you're ending things with them. Um, why is this Queen of Wands here? Judgment. Yes. Judgment day. All right. Something was definitely revealed with the moon here. It was like your worst fear confirmed. The person that you were dealing with or the person that you loved. Um, if this energy hasn't happened yet, it could happen. Remember, this is a general message. So everyone won't resonate for this. But for those of you who this is resonating with, I feel like you're ending things with somebody who um, returned to an ex or returned to someone who um could be their karmic or their their soulmate in in some in some you know from their perspective right um seven of swords all right definitely someone not being honest here libras why is the seven of swords here six of wands someone has a big ego some eight of swords someone's lies could catch up to them in the form of a legal sense and there could be some sort of jail here i feel like the seven of swords with the six of wands is is um someone lied to you or you or so the seven of swords is showing up <laughs> In your energy, Libra, with the Six of Wands. So there could be something here about someone being deceptive. Like they're not living the life that like whatever life they're living publicly in this Six of Wands, it's a lie. With the Seven of Swords, whatever life they're living on social media, whatever life they're living where people think they have it great and amazing, it's all a lie someone here the sun more leo energy showing up leo energy with that six of wands as well a lot of you have a leo here that you're connected to and you're starting to see this person for who they truly are you're starting to see a truth about this person now for a lot of you you're still attracted to attracted to them okay you're still attracted to them it doesn't matter what you learn about them what you find out about them you still want them you still or they still want you um something here about this connection right um, it's like you are independent and you are abundant on your own, but there is somebody here who you may be in sort of chaser vibes with, right? Still trying to see if there's something here with this person. But I also feel like this person gives off that same energy at times with the Knight of Cups, you know, being very flirty with you and, and saying things, yep, lovers. But this person is, um, they're not giving me settle down energy, right? They could already be settled down somewhere else, Ten of Pentacles. So just be careful of that. Uh, they're very interested and attracted to you. You're very interested and attracted to them. It's mutual. The lovers here, um, Gemini energy, Knight of Cups here, Pisces energy. Um, but somebody is still playing the field, right? They do have a strong physical attraction to you. And they actually have, um, they, they would settle down with you, I feel. Um, what's this lovers with this Knight of Cups? Yep, the King of Wands, right? There was a queen of wands out here. So we do have a true pair. I feel like the, more Leo energy. Okay. So for those of you that are connected to Leos or have Leo in your like Venus or uh, your moon or Mars or um, your North node or something like that, your energy is showing up super strong. 
Okay, in this reading, I feel like there's a lot of passion and a lot of attraction here between you and this person, Libras. And there is going to be some sort of transformations or endings that need to happen. Um, but I also feel like the Three of Swords, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, it just feels like... Um, if this 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 situation feels suspicious, right? Somebody isn't who they say they are. Yes, high priestess, they're keeping secrets. Um, somebody's secret is that they have like a teenage child or an older child, a child that you don't know about or something. Someone's secret is that um, there's just something here about this connection where um, it can burn brightly right the fire and the intensity of it but it can also fall just as intensely and just as dark so i feel like this three of swords with this high priestess is again there's some information hidden about who this person could be messing with on the side look at this knight of wands showing up to confirm that um a player sort of vibe that i am picking up here fire sign you guys may love fire signs okay <laughs> um but yeah pisces sagittarius energy here showing up with this three of swords um also also if you you know if you're connected to a feminine energy you could find out this feminine energy has someone on the side um somebody that they have been intimate with the five of wands there could be some sort of fighting for this person or people are fighting for you um in september it just feels like drama um the five of wands conflict and competition right we got a knight of wands king of wands and i will say libra there's a lot of people in your reading so there could be too many people in your inner circle that you're trusting and then there's a lot of sneaky stuff going on behind your back a lot of things you have no idea what's going on and, and you won't know what's going on until it's sort of revealed to you right so i am going to get some messages to see if we can get some clarity here what messages want to come through possibly from your person libra um let's see what messages are coming through here for libras for mid-september um i'm in love with you even if i can't say it yeah that knight of cups feels very sort of lovey-dovey towards you but maybe living a double life here with this lovers and king of wands they still could be dealing with a leo but they're in love with you they have very strong feelings of attraction and, and emotions towards you they're ashamed of their behavior so make sure you ask them what do they have to be ashamed of or make sure you you know get in that queen of swords interrogation mode because this person is hiding something all right um we need this time apart. So yeah, I feel like some of you are separated. Some of you did separate with this person as a way to sort of encourage them to tell the truth. All right. You know, you can come back to me when you decide to be honest, when you decide to open up and tell me what's going on with you and such and such, or tell me if you're doing something over here, because you are picking up something intuitively that's going on with this person, but you can't quite put your finger on it. So I think this person's energy, I'm ashamed. I'm in love with you. Even if I can't say it, why can't can't they say it? Are they dealing with somebody? We need this time apart. Why do we need this time apart? You know, you can start there. Um, you know, this person has some things going on that you're not aware of and that may be revealed right in the next week or two. All right, Libras, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you need a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box.